We have had automation for many decades, actually already for more than a century. The previous activities in the industry, on the assembly line for example, have been mostly already replaced by robots or by automated production methods. But that doesn't change the basic findings. People aren't losing work because of this. One sees this in the history of the industry. The inexorable development of technology already enables a cooperation between humans and robots in shared workplaces without separative safety measures. The new generation of collaborating robots is now moving into the medium-sized firm sector. Bosch has developed a supporting automation assistant for this market. Bei Bosch finden Sie in an zahlreichen Werken bereits there are so-called cobots, the collaborative robots at numerous Bosch plants, always where monotonous activities can be taken over by robots. For example, at the end of a production line for packaging parts or inserting parts into machines. The APAS implements components in frames, which then must only be replaced by the employee. At first, the staff was a bit skeptical of robots, because they were afraid of losing their jobs. Now they have realized that they just support them with their activities and they take a huge load off them so they can get on with more important tasks. The precondition for the success of this human-robot collaboration is an appropriate workplace and robot design so that people will not be endangered. If a person gets too close, the collaborative robot stops and when the person leaves the danger area, the robot starts to move again. Humans and machines work hand in hand. Work, and not only work, will change with progressive automation and digitalization. That's for sure, but will workers become superfluous in the future? The human-robot collaboration will not eliminate the workers. Robots will help with the daily grind at work and will basically assist people. But routine activities will be lost, yet more sophisticated tasks will appear. At that point, the magic word will be changed through education, through qualifications. That will be the big challenge. These fundamental changes are already taking place. Various scenarios are thinkable. In the ideal world, this will unleash creativity and intelligence, more possibilities for communication, to concentrate on the important things. In the worst case, humans will be exploited, will become a source of data-gathering frenzy. Those are the two extreme variations. Which one will happen? Probably one in between, but we can't predict. It is up to us how we shape the future promisingly. Automatica showcases these ideas from the 21st to the 24th of June 2016 in Munich.